perfume. You know me well and here in spend but time to wind about my love with circumstance and out of doubt you do me now more wrong in making question of my uttermost then if you had made waste of all I have then do but say me what I should do that in your knowledge may by me be done and I am pressed unto it therefore speak. Antonio here with lots of love tells to Bassanio that he is simply wasting his time and also Antonio's time by convincing him by telling all about how much he loves and how much trustworthy he is. With all this, Antonio convinces him by telling that whatever big amount he is expecting from Antonio, he is ready to give. But before that, he wanted to know actually what he is expecting from Antonio. And he said that whatever he can do for his friendship, he is ready to do. Bassanio. Bassanio. In Belmont is a lady richly left, and she is fair, and fairer than that word, of wondrous virtues, sometimes from her eyes. So Bassanio starts telling about the lady who lives in Belmont and who is richly left. Who is richly left means her dad means her father, King of Belmont is dead and she is the only rich heiress left in Belmont. For her whole property, she is the one mistress that is owner of the whole Belmont palace and property. So here, lady richly left. This is very important phrase to remember. And she is fair and fairer than that word. Even he tells that she is a very beautiful and she is beautiful than beautiful, more than that word fairer, of wondrous virtues, not only in her beauty, but also in her character. Sometimes from her eyes, I did receive fair speechless messages. From her eyes, I have received some silent love messages where she has expressed her love to me. Her name is Portia. Nothing undervalued to Cato's daughter Brutus Portia. So, here he compares by telling her name. Her name is Portia and he gives one comparison with the Cato's daughter Portia. Brutus Portia who married Brutus. There is a small story regarding this. Here, when Cato's daughter Portia came to know that her husband Brutus is killed, she also died by killing herself. Means, he is telling that this Portia is very loyal and a very good lady who is richly left in Belmont. Nor is the wide world ignorant of her worth. For the four winds blow in from every coast, renowned suitors and her sunny locks hang on her temples like a golden fleece, which makes her seat of Belmont Colco strong. And many jacinths come in quest of her. O oh, my Antonio, had I... But the means to hold a rival place with one of them. I have a mind presage me such thrift that I should question less be fortunate. Here, he tells that from all the four directions of the world, many suitors were coming, many jasons, many capable suitors were trying to marry her who are courageous, some are rich and some are richly left, many kinds of Royal people were approaching to marry this Portia and her beauty was so very attractive and her wealth was added golden feather for her life like a golden fleece. Golden fleece means in Greek mythology there was a golden ram with wings which was attracting everyone towards it. Same like Portia and Bassanio wanted to make his place among the suitors like a royal suitor. Because children, anyone who wanted to ma marry royal ladies, royal girls, they should also belong to some royal family and their life should be depending on their lifestyle. That is like nobles, they have to live their life. They should have good number of wealth, presentation, happiness, everything they should give according to that lady's life and lifestyle. For that, they have to present themselves as 
suitable suitor so he requests antonio to help him to present himself and to be fortunate according to the other suitors who were approaching the lady antonio do know is that all my fortunes fortunes are at sea neither have i money nor commodity to raise a present sum therefore go forth try what my credit can in venice do that shall be racked even to the uttermost to furnish the to belmont to fair portia go presently inquire and so will i where money is and i no question make to have it of my trust or for my sake so antonio tells very humbly he tells that dear bassanio i really want to help you don't you know i have invested all the amount in the ships means in the business neither i have cash nor i have any property left behind because all my belongings i have invested in business i am expecting a good return so please go go in venice market and take credit by giving my goodwill means using my name antonio's name was quite very famous and he was a very big merchant so easily he can gather some money for himself so he suggests bassanio to go and take money in any of the conditions and how much ever money he needs he even suggests that once his ships return he will pay it and he will clear the debt in the venice market so whatsoever he will stand as bassanio surety and he assures him to take money in any of the conditions later antonio will be paying the amount without missing with this act 1 scene 1 comes to an end where bassanio exits from the scene children in next scene we will be going to belmont get ready because you will be meeting the lady who is quite very beautiful quite very wise and also heroine of the play we have two ladies in this belmont one is portia and one is nerissa we will visit belmont in next class thank you